So we're joined here at ringside by uh, the current WWE World Heavyweight <laughs> Champion, John Cena, and the star of their new movie, 12 Rounds. John, would you like to tell us a little bit about the movie? The movie's going to be great, and WWE fans certainly will appreciate it. They'll, they'll go into theater seeing a great movie. Uh, I played Detective Danny Fisher, who makes a brilliant bust almost by accident, and then uh, the evil genius he puts behind bars a year later breaks out for his revenge. He captures my girlfriend, blows up my house, and then sends me on 12 rounds or challenges through the city of New Orleans to uh, kind of test my mettle as a true detective. So um, how do you plan to kind of balance your career from here on in? Obviously you're uh, one of the, if not the biggest star in WWE at the moment. Um, this is your second movie now, right? Are you going to carry on acting? Or? Absolutely. And I think it's certainly possible to do both. So I, WWE fans do not have to worry about getting rid of me anytime soon. Okay. You've issued a couple of challenges to uh, another actor wrestler, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, in, yeah. in recent weeks. Uh, yeah. You know, do you think you can c convince him to finally step back into the ring? No, room? no, that's just, that's me being a selfish fan. Okay. And uh, he, with his unbelievable success with Witch Mountain, and uh, he, I know he's got a couple great movies on the way, and he, he is a, a bona fide star of the silver screen and, and certainly wants to, to follow that path. But I'm trying everything I can to get him back, and uh, I know our WWE fans would love to have him, even if it's only for one night, so I'll keep making those challenges. I'm easy to find, but WrestleMania 26 is in Phoenix. If you want some, come get some. So I'll keep doing what I got to do to get him back. So another uh, massive wrestling star who's uh, trying to transition into the silver screen is uh, Steve Austin. Yes. Um, I saw at the, uh, the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony the other week, he kind of passed you the beer. It was kind of a symbolic passing of the torch, maybe to yourself. Well, if uh, I'd like him to pass the torch about 30 more times, then that right. was a, that was a great moment. Uh, and being able to have a cold beer at the end of the Hall of Fame was. Was fantastic. Uh, how people look at that is whatever it is, but uh, Steve has, has always been a hero of mine, and uh, I, you know I was I was really close to him physically, so I guess he was the closest person he could have handed a beer to. But uh, I, I wish Steve nothing but success. I know he just got a great role in the uh, Expendables coming up with uh, Sylvester Stallone. He has so much talent. I really uh, I really wish nothing but the best for him. He's one of those guys you want to see make it. So. Um You've been uh, in WWE, what is it, like six or seven years now as, as a full-time wrestler? My goodness, what is it, 2009 already? Uh, yeah. Seven, yeah, yeah, just about seven going on eight. How about that? My goodness. So you've, you've achieved so much already, multiple-time world champion and stuff. What are your ambitions going forward from now? Uh, my ambitions going forward are what they were when I got into the business, to uh, expand this brand. And I think uh, we've done a great job of that over the years. We've... The WWE has kind of had to change its face. It's uh, certainly more of a, a family-rated show now. I'm proud to say that anybody can watch our show, and uh, they certainly won't be offended by anything we put on screen. Um, it's helped expand our audience. It's helped globalize our brand. And sports entertainment is becoming more of a household name than it was when I got in this business. And that's really uh, that's my goal and aspiration for me. It's oh, I know I know that champions uh, championships are won and lost so frequently that it's not necessarily to uh, to always be the champion, but it's to always kind of put the business in a positive light. So just one final question, if we, if we have time. Um, sure. Who is, who is the one uh, athlete wrestler that you kind of, you'd like to face from the past or the present? Or, um, you know, who's the one guy that stands out for you that you haven't wrestled? I, really I would say to? top three are probably the three that I'll never get a chance to. Okay. Hogan, Rock, Austin. Okay. Those, are, those, are, those are my top three. If that, if that ever comes about, I certainly would cherish that moment, but uh, I don't know. Those are, those are three that are going to be tough to get back. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us at Ringside Stage, John. Best you of luck in 12 rounds. Thanks. Thank you.